boys i'm sure you guys are very familiar with that particular stuff it happens to be concerning yahoo boys and believe me the way they are making it look like here in nigeria it's almost like if you're not doing the same thing like them then it's more like you're way way backward i mean right now it's very normal for you to see a 22 year old uh driving a very expensive car maybe having a mansion already even married but it's actually too fast already so have you ever tried figuring what they have to do to like get the money like the type of conditions what they get into the type of agreements they get into just to have that type of money we are going to be talking about something like that in this particular video and the fact that some of these yahoo boys like we earlier said uh just kicked the bucket i know it's quite inappropriate to use this particular word kicked the bucket but i feel like that's the best word youtube is going to permit us to use right in this video guys if you're stopping for the very first time and you've not subscribed well it's never too late uh, even though it's a little bit late but it's never too late well consider hitting the subscribe button right now and of course do all to hit the bell notification button so you get notified on a daily i never tell my long time subscriber thank you so much for your love and support uh believe me we do appreciate it and may god continue to bless you guys yes like we earlier said we're going to be talking about a very uh reoccurring issue here in nigeria uh, and a very important one at that and it happens to be the issue of us having so many yao boys in nigeria i feel like if you were to put uh nigeria on a scale uh, i mean like we happen to be the first and of course the most populated country in africa that has yao boys i mean like there are so many here in nigeria that maybe other people from other countries just tend to like ask us for like what is actually happening we get to even tutor other people how to do this stuff because they find it like we are the best in this particular category and i feel like it's really nothing to brag about well keeping apart uh keeping that particular part aside we're going to be talking about the fact that something very unusual happened to some group of yahoo boys i think that was last night and i feel like it's making so many rounds already so like you all actually know these guys are actually known for their uh expensive and luxurious uh luxurious lifestyle uh they tend to like eat i mean like just spend money anyhow and well it's quite normal to an extent they find it very normal in such a way that they have no issues spending money spending a huge amount of money on a day like they can just spend even a million and it's like it's not bothering them at all that's because they have a whole lot of money in their bank account that they've used their trickish and their crookish method to like extort from people but believe me i feel like there are so many uh legit ways out there to make money uh, i don't think you actually have to get it this far or do things this way to get money so in this video we're going to be talking about these yahoo boys that actually like uh kicked the bucket i mean six of them that's the information we're getting so we got this information from a page on facebook called wari aproko tv you guys can just head on to facebook uh try searching this particular page and you're going to get the information so guys uh this person captioned this post with something like six yao boys where they celebrate the new car of one of their colleagues get accident yesterday night for ogeli and all them six are the spots so that's just to make you guys understand that six of them were somehow celebrating the fact that one of their colleagues actually bought a new car uh and who knows maybe they got a little bit tipsy they drank and stuff like that and before they knew it bam that was all for them like they actually lost their life six of them so guys what do you think about this don't you feel like it's because of the expensive lifestyle that i used to live in the fact that i used that that, that, that like fun of over speeding like living and making people to notice them that's really the cost because believe me it's quite no normal i don't feel like if they were just driving on a normal speed or on a normal state this would have happened to them so it just boils down to the same fact that they were somehow taking it so far maybe over speeding or drinking when they were or riding when they were somehow drunk and i think that's what actually happened guys what's your take in this matter do you feel like it's quite normal to do this type of stuff just to make money well, what's your thing? Do you feel like it's normal? But all the same, RIP to all six of these boys. And I pray that uh, may God actually forgive them, even though I know there's nothing like this after 
uh after going or after departure but of course we still pray for god to like accept them into his kingdom well that all for the video rip once again to all six of these guys thank you all so, so very much for watching